Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about chi-squared goodness of fit test. In my first video, we have learned how to test whether a set of data follows binomial distribution. In this video, I will show you how to test whether a set of data follows Poisson distribution. The following video, I will talk about normal distribution. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe my channel by hitting the subscribe button below so that you won't miss any videos later. If you find that this video is useful, please share to your friends, to your students, or to anybody who needs this. So, let's start the lesson right now. In this video, I'm going to talk about chi-squared goodness of fit test. In my first video, I have already shown you how to test a set of data by using goodness of fit test, whether the data follows binomial distribution. Now, today in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to test whether a set of data follows Poisson distribution. So, when carry out goodness of fit test, there are four general steps. First one is state the hypothesis. Then, second step is calculate the test statistic. That is, chi squared equals to sum of O minus E power 2 divided by E where O is the observed frequency and E is the expected frequency. Now, to calculate the expected frequency, we need to use the formula N times P, where N is sample size and P is the probability of each class. Then, to calculate the probability, since we are going to test Poisson distribution, so to calculate the probability for each class, we are going to use the probability of Poisson. Then the step number three, determine the critical value and rejection region. Step number four, make decision and conclusion. So now we go to the question, the number of defective items produced by a machine in an hour is assumed to conform to the Poisson probability distribution. Table below shows the number of defective items produced by the machine during 50 sample hours. So now this is the table given. Perform a chi-squared goodness of fit test to determine whether the distribution can be modeled by the Poisson distribution at 5% level of significance. Now the first step, that the hypothesis. The null hypothesis, the number of defective items can be modeled by Poisson distribution. The alternative hypothesis, the number of defective items cannot be modeled by Poisson distribution. Now we go to step number two, calculate the test statistic. From the data given, the number of defective item is X and the frequency is observed frequency. To calculate the test statistic that is chi-squared value, so we need the value of E. The E is calculated by using the formula N times P. P is the probability of each of the class. Since we are testing the Poisson distribution, so we are going to use the formula of Poisson probability to calculate. So for Poisson, the population parameter is lambda. But lambda is not given in the question. So in this case, we need to estimate the lambda by using mean. So now, first step, we are going to calculate the mean by using the formula here, 
that is the sum of frequency times x divided by the sum of frequency. So it means x times frequency 0 times 2 plus 1 times 5 plus 2 times 8 and so on until 6 times 5 then divided by the total frequency. Then when we simplify the mean is 3.44. So now we can calculate the probability for the first class where x is equal to 0. And we use lambda as 3.44. So when we substitute the lambda and x and when we press the calculator, that is 0 0.0321. From this probability, now we can calculate the expected frequency for the first class by using n times p, n is 50 times the probability, then e is equal to 1.605. Then when x is equal to 1, we substitute into the formula, we will get 0 0.1103. And from here, you can calculate the e, it is 5.515. When x is 2, so when we substitute the value into the formula, we get the probability 0 0.1897. Using this probability, we get the E is 9.485. Then when X is 3, probability is 0 0.2175. E is 10.875. When X is 4, probability is 0 0.1871. And E is 9.355. When X is 5, probability is 0 0.1287. And E is 6.435. Then when we come to the last class, that is the common mistake of the student, where students always replace the X with 6 into the formula to calculate the probability here. So actually, it is not correct. This is because for Poisson distribution, x is infinity. So to calculate the last class, we should include all the possible outcome greater than 6 included 6. So in this case, we cannot use the formula to calculate the probability. So in order to calculate the probability, we use 1 minus the sum of all the probability before this. This is because the total probability is equal to 1. So if we want to calculate the probability of the last class, we use 1 minus the sum of all the probability before this. That is 0 0.1346. Then from here, we multiply the probability with 50, then we get E is equal to 6.730. Now we have calculated all the values of E. So now we are going to combine everything in a table. But before this, you have to be very careful. If there is any values of E is less than 5, we need to combine. So we can see here, the first class when x is equal to 0, e is 1.605, which is less than 5. So means the first class when x is equal to 0 must be combined with the following class, that is x equals to 1, become 1 class. So since the first class, the e is less than 5, so now I combine the x equals 0 and x equals 1 in 1 class. O, we must combine also, that is 7. Then after combine, the E is 7.120. Then now we substitute the O and E into the formula. O minus E power 2 divided by E, we get 0 0.0020. Then when x is 2, O is 8, E is 9.485. Then when we substitute into the formula, we get 0 0.2325. Then for X is 3, 
Then when we substitute into the formula, we get 0 0.0704. When x is 4, we get 0 0.0135. When x is 5, we get 3.2384. Then for the last class that is greater than or equal to 6, after substitute into the formula, we get 0 0.4447. Then finally, we find the total of the value here. Then we get the value of chi squared that is 4.0015. Now we go to step number 3. Determine the critical value and rejection region. Since the significance level is 5%, so alpha is 0 0.05. Then for degree of freedom, V equals K minus M minus 1. K is the number of classes after combined. Then M is the number of estimate population parameter. So in Poisson, lambda is the population parameter. Since it is not given in the question, so we estimate by using mean. So in this case, we have one estimate population parameter. So M is equal to one. So therefore, since after combine, the number of classes is six. So six minus one minus one. So the degree of freedom is four. Then critical value. Critical value can be found by using the table of chi squared by using the degree of freedom 4 and the significance level 1 minus alpha 0 0.95, then we get 9.488. Then for rejection region, since this is the critical value 9.488 and this is the rejection region, so if the chi-squared greater than 9.488, it is inside the rejection region. So therefore, H node is rejected if chi squared is greater than 9.488. Now we go to make decision and conclusion. Since the value of chi squared that we calculate just now is 4.0015, which is less than 9.488, so means it is not inside the rejection region. So therefore, H node is not rejected. So now to make the conclusion, we can use this statement. At 5% of significance level, it is insufficient evidence to conclude that the number of defective items cannot be modeled by Poisson distribution. So, First, we must mention the level of significance, that is 5%. Then, as for keyword, since the decision is not rejected, H0 is not rejected, then you have to use the keyword insufficient evidence. If the decision is rejected, then the keyword becomes sufficient evidence. Then, to conclude, the H1. So in this question, H1 is the number of defective items cannot be modeled by Poisson distribution. So this is the conclusion based on the test. Now we are going to answer the question. Therefore, the number of defective items can be modeled by Poisson distribution. So that's all for now. Do you understand what you learned today? If you have any question, let me know in Teacher Eileen Maths Group. If you find that this video is useful, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you keep on learning and keep on watching my videos. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.